It was a rainy evening. A 36-year-old cyclist was hit by a turning car. As he fell, his knee struck the pavement with brutal force. The X-ray later revealed a severe tibial plateau fracture, a complex injury that required immediate and precise surgical repair. But how do orthopedic surgeons put a shattered knee joint back together? That's exactly what we're going to explore today. Welcome to Ortho Implants for Life, where we break down complex medical and orthopedic concepts into insightful real-world knowledge. Tibial plateau fractures may not be the most common injury, but their complexity makes them one of the most challenging for orthopedic surgeons. If not managed correctly, these fractures can lead to lifelong mobility issues. In this video, we'll explore the fascinating world of tibial plateau fixation techniques, from the standard approaches to the cutting edge solutions that are reshaping recovery outcomes. This video is for educational purposes only and does not constitute professional medical advice. Always consult with a licensed healthcare provider for clinical treatment and surgical decisions. Understanding the fracture. What makes tibial plateau injuries so complex? Let's start by understanding the anatomy and why these fractures are so critical. The tibial plateau forms the upper part of the tibia or shin bone and supports the femur, the thigh bone at the knee joint. It's not just a flat surface, it's responsible for distributing weight and ensuring smooth knee motion. When a high impact force strikes, like in a car crash, sports injury or fall, the surface can crack, collapse or split often involving both the bone and cartilage. These injuries can range from minor depressions to complete shattering of the joint surface. And because the knee is a weight-bearing joint, any misalignment or instability can result in long-term complications, including arthritis, chronic pain, or restricted motion. So, how do orthopedic surgeons put the puzzle back together the technique depends on the type and severity of the fracture, the soft tissue condition, and the patient's overall health. Let's dive into the most effective fixation strategies used today. Number one, open reduction and internal fixation. Still considered the gold standard for many cases, or if involves surgically opening the knee, reducing the fragments to their anatomical position, and securing them using screws and specially contoured plates. It's highly effective for displaced fractures, but can involve considerable soft tissue disruption. Number two, minimally invasive percutaneous plate. Osteosynthesis for patients where soft tissue preservation is key, like diabetics or elderly individuals, surgeons might use MIPPO. This technique allows internal fixation through small incisions, reducing the risk of infection and promoting quicker recovery while still providing stable fixation. Third, external fixation, temporary or definitive. In high energy trauma with extensive swelling or open wounds, internal fixation might not be immediately possible. In such cases, external fixation provides temporary stabilization while allowing the soft tissues to recover before definitive surgery. In some complex scenarios, it may be the final method used. Fourth, arthroscopy-assisted fixation. A newer trend is combining arthroscopy with fracture fixation. This minimally invasive method allows the surgeon to look inside the joint, clean up cartilage fragments, and elevate any depressed bone areas, all while fixing the fracture. It's especially helpful when treating depression-type fractures with minimal displacement. 5. Dual plating for becondylar fractures. When both medial and lateral sides of the plateau are involved, a dual plating approach might be used. While this method offers excellent biomechanical stability, it requires advanced surgical skill and careful handling of surrounding tissues. Orthopedics is not one size fits all. 
Surgeons today have access to pre-contoured anatomical plates designed to match the curvature of the tibia. Some systems even allow 3D surgical planning, techniques like ligamentotaxis, which use tension in surrounding ligaments to realign bones, are also gaining traction, especially in complex or comminuted fractures. Ultimately, choosing the right method means factoring in patient age, bone quality, fracture type, and surgical expertise. Tibial plateau fractures may seem intimidating, but with today's advancements, they're more manageable than ever. Whether it's through traditional ORIF or cutting-edge arthroscopic assisted techniques, the goal remains the same. Restore joint alignment, maintain knee function, and get the patient back on their feet. If you're a surgeon, a healthcare professional, a patient, or just someone passionate about orthopedics, staying informed about these evolving techniques is crucial. If you have enjoyed the video, like it, share it, and if you are new to our channel, subscribe it. Hit the bell icon to get notifications for all our upcoming videos. Join us to excel in this orthopedic implant industry and to know more about the job and career growth which is available in this industry. Thank you. See you again next week.